Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be going over a Geiger counter. Now I bought this from Harris, he's in my Discord server. If you are not part of my Discord server but would like to join, there'll be a link in the description to go have a look at that. So today we have the uh, Palessi Controls Portable Dose Rate Meter, the PDRM82. Now this is, this model is from 1986, I believe? Or was it around 1984? It's around that period in the Cold War. Sadly, there's no markers to tell me when this was like made or anything. There might be some inside, I cannot remember. Um, but there is a little date there. I guess that kind of, it, well, it says okay. So I guess this was tested and worked in the uh, 26th of the second 09, so in 2009 in Feb, which is pretty cool. And it looks to be a stamp there, which is stamp 17. Now, is that the guy who checked it? Or was that the model kind of like number? Is that is this the 17th in the UK that was made? I'm not sure. But as you can see, the box is in good condition. Now you might be going, Tyler, the box looks like shit. You've got brown bits here, it's all smashed. But remember, these are from the Cold War, which happened between, I think it was 1947 and around about 1990 between the United States and the Soviet Union, uh, when the Soviet Union f fell. So the UK manufactured these, uh, well, Plessy did for the UK government, and these would go along with the uh, ROC posts. If I find any pictures of these in the ROC post, I'll uh, put them on screen. You can get two models of these. You can get the yellow one, which was the civil one, and you can also get the military one, which is in the green. Sadly, the military ones are very, very rare. So yeah, it is kind of impossible to get one in working good condition. Um, I have actually modded this. Now, I put a, uh, I think it's called a piezo or pezo speaker. I've added two of them in here. So you get that Geiger counting uh, clicks. Now, just um, before we go any further, this meter is for gamma and x-rays only and very, 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 very high beta going into gamma. Now, obviously, like I said, these were used in the Cold War, so that's kind of the purpose of them. So technically, I cannot really test it completely. I can't make it go off the scale. Um, but how I can stress test it is by one of these little um, globy things, what they call plasma lamps. It basically shoots out like electricity and you can like move it around your hand and stuff. I'm not gonna be doing that yet. Um, well, not soon. I'm not going to be doing it live, but I have videos that will be playing um, after and stuff, which is pretty cool. So if you do want me to do kind of like a test rundown of the speakers and stuff, leave a comment down in the description if you want me to go in more detail. If not, then I'll be playing a video um, on screen later. So let's get into the box. So here we go. It says for long time, uh, for long term, Storage, remove batteries and keep batteries, excess cap off, the rubber seal, blah, 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 by storing it above, blah, 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 blah. We don't really need to know that stuff. Okay, so here is the unit itself. As you can see, it's in that orange, really, well, I, I said yellow, but it's basically orange. It picks up on the camera yellow, but in, in like, when I can see this, it is orange. There's a speaker there. I've added one Pezzo speaker there, or Prezo, whatever you call it. There's also another one in there, but I don't know if you can see it. Um, we'll go over the unit in a minute. We also have a nice strap, which is pretty cool. We can add that actually now. Um, it kind of just, they just go in here. So just fold that in and then it like clips in there, which is pretty nice, like that. Now you've got two layers, so you can either have it like that or like that. Or you could just cut it if you wanted to. And the other one just slots down in, in there like that. And then you can carry it around, which is pretty cool. Um, what else have we got in the box? We've got the instructions, which are very, very old. This actually might have a date on it. Um, 
sadly I don't think it has a date but basically tells you like what to do as you can see it's very yellow the paper is very very yellow so you can tell it's very very old um, but yeah that's basically the card and the paper just to tell you everything about the unit you've also got like more instructions and like the I guess the legal kind of notice on the back I haven't read this fully and I won't be in the video but if you want to pause and stop and start reading it you can also in the unit we have a kind of like strap so if you want to have it around your wrist you can or around your side you can uh let's get into the actual unit then like i said i, I have added a speaker i will play a video now so i've managed to put the speaker on the plessy i don't know if you can hear uh i've got i've just got this little like lamp here but whenever i go next to the counter it kind of does that i don't know if that's because of the electric or something but yeah i mean it seems to work so yeah as you can see there i have added a speaker well two speakers now that video was recorded ages ago but when i turn this on you should start hearing the clicks maybe i might have to go here where my microphone is Not sure if you can hear that, but the clicks are happening because I have connected it. Um, you won't see anything come up here. Um, I will play a video now of me stress testing it with the uh, plasma lamp. You won't see this go up. And, you know, it, it won't go up until a nuclear reactor goes off, a nuclear bomb goes off, or just very, very high doses of radiation. When you see that number go up, you want to get the hell away from your area. And I mean it. Um, yeah, I mean, if this, this goes up to 300 centigrade, I think it is, I think it's called. Um, if you have 300 centigrades of radiation in your body for an hour, you're going to be dead. <laughs> you won't be surviving that you can take as many rad pills as you want rad pills are basically radiation pills that cut or like i think it's called like potassium iodine or something like that basically like blocks your system from taking in radiation if you want me to get some of them pills let me know in the description let me know in the comments sorry not the description it takes three d cell batteries i'm not going to get them out but you can probably see them in there which are nice yeah, I mean, it's a really nice unit. Sadly, it doesn't tick very loud, but that is because of the background radiation. There just isn't enough background radiation for this to go like, blah, 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 like, like they usually do. Um, like I said, I'm going to be playing some videos now of me testing it. So there we go, that is me testing the uh, Plessy with the background kind of like gamma and uh, x-rays. That was either from the smoke detector, carbon dioxide detector, or just around the house to microwave, them kind of things that give off gamma radiation and that kind of stuff. Um, like I said, this won't go off fully until like a nuclear blast or something like that happens. Um, again, if you see anything come up here, you want to be gone. So if I start seeing 50, 100, 200, 300, I'm going to be dead within an hour. So I want to get the hell out of Dodge when looking at this. So yeah, hopefully you have enjoyed the video. Again, thank you to Harris for uh, kindly letting me have this. Um, I did buy it from him. I've bought it for around about £45, which is pretty good deal. They're usually going for about 60, 70, 80, up to 100. You can get the bigger... Um, model i think it's called the pdrm 82 
D double D, I think it's called. Something like that. It's basically like a double D version and it's massive. It has a nice probe on it. It's kind of like my glass of water. Here we go. My glass of water. Yummy glass of water. It's kind of a probe and you would use that to detect radiation and that kind of stuff. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.